Excel now has a brand new checkbox feature that can completely transform your spreadsheets into interactive reports. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you three powerful ways to use checkboxes that will make your sheets smarter, faster, and more fun to use. By the end, you'll be able to build to-do lists, project trackers, and even full reports that update automatically. Let's get started. First, let's understand how checkboxes actually work in Excel. When you insert a checkbox and look at the formula bar, you'll see it's stored as a simple value. If the box is checked, Excel reads it as true. If the box is unchecked, Excel reads it as false. That's the key, true or false. And once you know that, you can connect checkboxes to formulas and control your sheet in amazing ways. Exercise 1. A dynamic checkbox based on another cell. Imagine you have a drop-down menu with two choices, completed or not yet. We want the checkbox to automatically update based on that drop-down. The formula looks like this. If the cell is equal to completed, then return true. Otherwise, return false. So if you pick completed from the drop-down, the checkbox turns on. If you pick not yet, the checkbox clears. That's how you can link a checkbox directly to other values and make it update by itself. Exercise 2. A checkbox that changes text values. In this exercise, the checkbox controls what text shows in another cell. The formula is simple. If the cell is true, then display the word completed. If the cell is false, then display the words not yet. Now, every time you check the box, the text instantly changes to completed. When you uncheck the box, the text goes back to not yet. This is perfect for task lists, progress trackers, or dashboards where you want text to reflect the checkbox status. Exercise 3. Two checkboxes with multiple conditions. In this exercise, we will use two checkboxes. One for started, and one for completed. Both of them will control a single status cell with three possible results. Here is the formula we are using. Let me explain this in simple words. If the completed checkbox in cell E4 is checked, the status will show completed. If not, but the started checkbox in cell D4 is checked, the status will show started. And if neither of them are checked, the status will show not yet. So this one formula handles all three cases and updates the status automatically. This simple nested if structure allows you to handle multiple checkboxes and display the correct status automatically. It gives you full control over how the information is presented in your sheet. And once you combine this with formatting, you can make the status cell change colors or even display icons, which makes it much easier to read at a glance. Bonus tip. Formatting and emojis. To make your sheet easier to read, you can combine checkboxes with colors and emojis. For example, use conditional formatting so that when the status is completed, the cell turns green. And when it is not yet, use a light gray. This way, the color changes automatically as soon as you tick or untick a box. You can also add emojis inside your formulas. For example, here, if the box is checked, you will see a happy face. If you are on a Mac, press Control, Command, and Space to open the emoji panel and choose any icon you like. This makes your spreadsheet not only functional, but also more visual and fun to use. Don't forget to visit other-levels.com to explore our most powerful reports and dashboards. If this tutorial helped you, like the video, follow for more tips, and subscribe on YouTube for complete dashboard tutorials. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next lesson.